The joint news conference between President Hu of China and President Obama is still going on in Washington and it has not been going quite to plan. A journalist asked them both an awkward question about China's human rights record. But when it was President Hu's turn to respond, it transpired there was something wrong with the simultaneous translation system and he didn't answer the question. Uh, I apologize. I thought we had simultaneous translation there. So I would have, I would have broken up the <laughs> What a strange technical coincidence. And the United States and Chinese authorities have been trumpeting a $45 billion export deal struck during President Hu's state visit. But China is increasingly determined to expand its own high-tech companies. Yesterday, our Washington correspondent, Sarah Smith, reported from Saginaw, Michigan, where a Chinese company, Pacific Century Motors, has taken over the car parts maker next year. Now, our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, looks at the Chinese end of the deal in Beijing, where the financial crisis has propelled China to the very front of the international stage much faster than its rulers expected. So many Chinese are buying cars these days, the auto parts company next year can scarcely fill the demand for half shafts. In the old days, like last year, this was a joint venture, American technology and management exploiting the Chinese market. But the Chinese takeover of next year marks a new phase. Right now, the world become the global wise, so it's not the, this country, that country, we need to work together. America needs investment. China needs to use its $2 trillion reserve. This is the way of the future. There's so much money here now. There are going to be far more Chinese companies taking over American companies. And the Chinese themselves seem surprised at how quickly it's going and how economic success is turning into diplomatic and political power. <laughs> the professor ad showed American discomfort at China's rise. So a Hong Kong company has responded with its own animation. Making fun of both American fears and Chinese ambition. We went to E Town in South Beijing. Dozens of international brands have factories and offices here. The promotional video is trying to attract more. E Town is owned by the Beijing municipal government. It now has its own investment wing, part of the group which bought next year. The man who put the deal together says the financial crisis made the moment. A lot of buyers that used to buy a lot of assets disappear from the scene. So uh, the one that still has liquidity other one uh, being chased by the seller. And, and that's the Chinese? It, exactly. You will see a lot more Chinese company going to the US and to the Western world to buy assets. High tech companies are the most sought after. But E Town has Chinese high tech startups too. American companies accuse the Chinese of using takeovers to steal technology. The Chinese government complains that the U.S. bars high-tech exports. Feng Ping Tsang, who makes machinery for nanotechnology, says acquisition isn't the only way. Once we have a new idea, we have to commercialize it. It usually takes a year and a half to two years for foreign companies to turn an invention into a product. It takes just five months here in China. This is our advantage. The Chinese are used to American brands. It'll be harder to get the Americans to accept Chinese names, but that's what's coming next. Is where we have the, famous Oval the latest this Hong Kong spoof animation shows, shows President, President uh, Hu measuring up the windows oh, for right. curtains in the Oval Office. I'd but today, he's tried to avoid public confrontation. No worries. There's been a lot of debate in China about being too assertive too soon. 
Just let me know when you want to go on. The truth of the matter is China just got suddenly elevated and doesn't know what to do with it. There's some people here that say we have now restored our rightful place in the world. Our system is superior to anybody else. There's other people saying, hold on, we, we're going to need friends. We may be doing well now, but when you, you know, things are not always going to be this good. In Beijing, the old men play Go, a traditional game of strategy and patience. The official Chinese position is that this is not a battle for territory and power. But there are influential voices in both China and America who see it as exactly that. Lindsay Hilson, Channel 4 News, Beijing.